Gosh, it's been a hot and humid day out there yeah. today. And we are tracking that severe weather uh, possibility for some of us. Yes, in some areas, George, can you explain what we're expecting and when we should be expecting that rain and potential storms? Uh, the rain here in Grand Rapids, chances are now zero. Yeah. It's all moving through the Battle Creek area where there have been some reports of a couple of tree limbs down. We'll show you those areas right now. 13 weather ball tonight is blinking bright for those showers and thunderstorms to the southeast early tonight. It's also blue, a little bit cooler and less humid weather in the the 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. Around the area, we are looking at uh, clearing skies here in the greater Grand Rapids area. Eventually, we will see our humidity levels drop, but it's been raining hard in the Battle Creek area. You can kind of see the visibility has come up a little bit. 76 degrees there over in uh, the Battle Creek area. There you go, 76, 74 degrees as that line of strong to possibly severe thunderstorms are moving through northern uh, portions of uh, uh, Calhoun County off to the south and east, affecting Marshall and Albion at this hour. Here are some reports. There's a tree limb down here in the Battle Creek area and up in Charlotte, a large tree limb down right around 433 as those storms move through there. And you can see a lot of heavy rain in these areas alone. There has been uh, generally about one to three inches of rain per hour in those areas with a lot of lightning. So these are the main threats right now. Heavy rain and lightning, no real threat from any hail. However, Around the region, we saw these storms develop very quickly right around 3 o'clock this afternoon. They have pushed now well to the south and east of Grand Rapids, so we're in the clear. You can let your guard down now here in West Michigan. That cold front is bringing in eventually some cooler and less humid weather for a couple of days. So we can breathe a sigh of relief in anticipation of some more uh, heavy weather next week in terms of the humidity. There are the clearing skies, lots of clear skies overnight tonight as those storms dissipate. Uh, plenty of sunshine on Friday. Uh, visibility will be good. It'll be good air quality with a north wind. And then we'll see increasing clouds during the day on Saturday. We're still looking at a chance of some showers on Sunday evening, but that may be the only rain for quite some time. The main news is we're going to see an increase in our temperatures. 80 here tomorrow is cooler than we saw today, around 81 on Saturday, but we're going to shoot all the way up to near 90 by Sunday, and we have 90 plus weather most, if not all, of next week. It's reflected in our uh, 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 6 to 10 day outlook from June 19th through the 23rd. High probabilities will be warmer than that 81 degrees, yeah, by about 10 degrees. Equal chance for more or less rainfall. Looks like the storm track is going to stay well off to our west. So for tonight, we're looking for clearing skies across the area. The severe thunderstorm watch is been canceled for uh, most of the lakeshore area. Evening shower and storm south of South Haven. Northern areas you're going to see clear skies, more comfortable temperatures in the mid 50s to near 60, and that early evening thunderstorm there around Battle Creek to the east where those warnings remain in effect. And then seeing those skies clear, overnight lows in the low 60s. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> Still advertising that heat wave starting on a Sunday all the way into next weekend. High humidity starting on a Monday. In fact, sometimes it'll get very humid. Dew points above 70. Heat index values are expected to get above 105 starting on Tuesday through at least Friday of this next week. So again, the threat of severe weather here for West Michigan is over. That's good to hear. And now we need to focus on that heat going into next week. My you goodness. Bet. Thanks so much, George. This is a severe weather alert. You are watching 13 on your side. So we begin tonight with weather because we have the potential for some severe weather as we head into the evening. Yeah, that is on t top of mind for us this evening. Let's get straight to Chief Meteorologist George Lessons in the Weather Center with what we're watching right now, George. We're tracking storms well to the south and east of Holland, Muskegon, and Grand Rapids, so no worries here in the metro areas. Severe thunderstorm warning was issued a little while ago. This is for portions of Calhoun County, including the cities of Albion, Battle Creek, and Marshall. This warning is in effect until 545 this evening and it is a radar indicated severe storm with hail up to three quarters of an inch in diameter and uh, maximum winds up to 60 miles an hour. We're tracking an area of rotation right now to the northeast of Battle Creek and this has been moving east at about 60 miles an hour. So north of I-94 there in uh, Calhoun County is where the greatest threat for some winds are. And you can see also in that red there, this is the hail potential. That's the highest hail potential uh, right to the east of Battle Creek. These storm tops getting up to around 40,000 feet. 
feet. That's a uh, meteorological uh, determination. So there could be some pea to marble size hail in those areas. And with every thunderstorm, there's also the possibility of a lightning, and that's the main threat right now. And you can see it's well to the south and east of Grand Rapids, uh, about 365 lightning strikes. The good news is for Kent, Ottawa and Muskegon, Montcalm and Ionia counties, the severe thunderstorm watch has been canceled for us. It is now in effect for Allegan, Barry, Van Buren and Kalamazoo counties through Calhoun County until 9 o'clock unless it is a canceled. The storms developed just about where we thought they were to the south and east of Holland and Grand Rapids. They're heading away from Wake Lake Michigan, so all of these storms in through here will continue to push to the east. Again, lots of lightning in these areas exiting uh, portions of Barry County right now. Uh, very intense rainfall. This could uh, cause some minor flooding. We're going to pull a couple of these places east of Battle Creek, raining at the rate of about an inch to two in just one hour. So again, temperatures have been very warm this afternoon, getting up into the mid 80s. They have dropped since then because we've got a cold front that has gone through the area. Uh, temperatures right now very similar, maybe a couple of degrees cooler than it was yesterday, but it got very humid for a while. Our dew points are up to 70 in Grand Rapids. That's in the uncomfortable range. That's a big increase from yesterday by about up to 15 degrees. The good news is the humidity is going away as the storms depart. We'll talk about the heat wave headed our way next week coming up a little bit later on. Storms popped up quickly this afternoon, but they were all to the south and east of Grand Rapids. They're still moving east of the Battle Creek region. 13 weather ball is blinking bright because of those departing storms in sight. It's also blue. We have some cooler and less humid weather in view. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. And walking the dog this evening should be a breeze. Yes, it's been a little windy today, but I'm going to give you the green paw for Beasley this evening. Yeah, uh, don't want you to be in the car, though. Got to be out where it's cooler. Shelby, uh, we'll give you a green paw for the morning walk as well. More comfortable down into the low 60s rather than that humid 80s this evening. Our green energy report every day from the sun tomorrow. More sunshine tomorrow than we saw during the day today, although it'll be filtered sunshine. Grand Haven looking good there at 75 degrees with a wind coming in off the lake and as far as South Haven looking breezy there as well. Not breezy, I should say looking hazy there and 78 degrees. This looks good in the water. As far as the waves running about one to two feet, well, they'll go up a little bit here overnight tonight. Water temperatures though starting to creep up a bit. Uh, they're in the low 60s in a few spots. Uh, finishing our green energy report, uh, we got a lot lighter winds here tomorrow. It may lead to some air quality issues later on next week. All of the storms that popped up right around two o'clock or so have now moved well to the south and east along I-94 over toward Jackson. But one of those stronger storms produced this line of damaging winds. That's why they were a uh, severe thunderstorm warned. Uh, they stretch from uh, just northeast of Hastings on over to Vermontville, north of Charlotte and further points to the east. You can see all of the times of those 409 in Hastings, 417 in Vermontville, all of these with trees down and even some wires. So these are the kind of storms that kind of up, come up, come up out of nowhere. And if you're not prepared for them, uh, could cause some uh, property damage. The severe thunderstorm watch has been canceled all for except Calhoun County in our area, but we've got a cold front coming through and that's dropping our temperatures and humidity for tomorrow. The storms are departing, clearing skies this evening will stay mostly clear to partly cloudy overnight and plenty of sunshine, just some high clouds at times during the day on Friday. Uh, before we see more high clouds move in on Saturday, but no rain throughout the entire weekend. We might just see some showers later on after dark on a Father's Day. Temperature wise, much more comfortable 80 as dew points will be dropping into the 40s and 50s here tomorrow around 81 on Saturday. But on Father's Day, if you got any uh, barbecuing going on, it is going to be hot and more humid. 90 degrees expected and the temperatures will continue to go up all next week. High chances that the warm weather will stay around after our 10 day forecast from the 21st through the 27th. Average highs are in the low 80s. We're going to be in the low 90s and a storm track might get a little bit closer. So there is at least a chance of some rain between June 21 and 27. Forecast though for tonight, uh, all along the lakeshore skies will be mostly clear around Ludington and Hart down into the mid 50s. 60 in Muskegon, Holland and South Haven. Any evening thunderstorms are now pushing south of South Haven. To the north, skies will be mainly clear, mid 50s, kind of comfortable to near 60 in Greenville. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, storms are over with the exception of right along I-94 southward where that severe thunderstorm watch is expected to be canceled here shortly. Overnight lows in the low 60s. 13 on your side forecast. 
Enjoy the two comfortable days coming up because it's going to get hot, breezy and hazy on Sunday after dark. There'll be some scattered showers for a couple of hours. The rest of the night will be dry. Monday, 94 degrees, hazy, hot and humid. Tuesday all the way through at least next to Friday with uh, humidity levels in the 60s and dew points near 70 at times. Uh, along about next Friday or Friday night and Saturday, there's another chance of a shower. But the main focus after these storms tonight, guys, is the heat next week. Yeah, that heat and the humidity, it's going to feel quite warm. Oof, my hair is already struggling, so it's yeah. only going to get worse. Oh, no. <laughs> George has that problem, too, in the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. This is a severe weather alert. You are watching 13 on your side. Good evening, I'm Julia Gorman. Juliet has the evening off. We begin tonight with weather. Chief Meteorologist George Lessons is in the Weather Center. George, you've been tracking the potential for severe weather all day, but a lot of that threat out of our hair for most of us. Uh, very much so. The threat is over for all of West Michigan. Now it's focusing down toward the Michigan-Indiana border. That's where a severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect for Van Buren, Kalamazoo, and Calhoun counties until 9 o'clock, or if it is canceled earlier, like it was here to the north. We've been tracking those storms that develop right around 2 o'clock generally south and east of Holland and Grand Rapids and those have now pushed down toward the Jackson area, but they were strong earlier this afternoon, uh, strong enough to produce some, some wind damage in some locations. The lightning is pushing well to the southeast of even Battle Creek here this evening, but you can see where those storms were strongest in northern Barry County left a line and a trail of a damaging winds and also down some trees and also some power lines as it populates here. You'll be able to see uh, northeast of Battle Creek. Uh, there was some damage as well as those storms pushed to the south and east. You can see all of those from 409 in Hastings to as late as 449 in Brownlee Park. All of these uh, large trees and some damaging winds just uh, bringing down some power lines. And speaking of power outages, uh, these are the power outages throughout West Michigan, nearly 4,000, the most in Eaton and in Calhoun counties, about 40 here in Kent County. Uh, temperatures are beginning to uh, cool off just a little bit from afternoon highs into the mid and in some case upper 80s. We're now in the low and mid 80s, but still very humid out there. Temperatures are about one to three degrees warmer than they were yesterday. But look at those dew points around 70 plus. That's very uncomfortable and we'll see some of that later on next week after we see the humidity levels drop right now. They're running about 10 to as much as 16 degrees wetter here this afternoon than yesterday. We'll talk about uh, the heat wave coming our way next week, which uh, means you should also stay weather aware. Julia. It's been a warm one outside and we were worried about some severe weather threat across West Michigan, George, but that's passed at this point. Uh, it has passed at this point. That is good news. A lot of anxiety here today on the possibility of severe weather. Well, I can tell you that you can rest easy. All of that has gone to the south. 13 weather ball blinking bright for those few areas that are seeing some storms well to the south. It's also blue. We do have some cooler and more comfortable weather in view. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse. Temperatures today climbed into the low and mid 80s at the lakeshore, mid and upper 80s, even 90 down there in Benton Harbor, made 91 in Detroit. We hit 87, well above our average high of 79, came with just within our target range. I was getting nervous there that we we're going to break the streak today. So far, we have not. 17 days in a row within that target range. Yeah, we had those showers and storms develop just about where we thought they were, where the Storm Prediction Center had those strongest storms to the south and east of Grand Rapids. Those are now pushing down toward the Michigan, Indiana, Ohio border. Severe thunderstorm watch has been canceled for all of West Michigan, but those storms did produce, as we showed you at the top of the show, uh, some uh, strong to severe weather across northern Barry County, all the way down into Eaton County, where they had some trees and power lines down. That was all well to the south and east of Grand Rapids. Let's focus on the next uh, 48 hours. Skies are clearing. Eventually, those humidity levels will come down. Uh, during the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine. This is clear overnight. Lots of sunshine during the day tomorrow and we'll continue that trend until Saturday. We'll see clear skies here early on Saturday. Should be a very comfortable day to get out and about. And then overnight Saturday night into Sunday, we'll start to see some high clouds come on in. So some filtered sunshine for Father's Day, uh, but nothing going on until Father's Day evening. These are just some of those high clouds, and this is at the end of the day on Sunday. Uh, we will be updating on the timing and the track of that. We did have forecast uh, showers in the forecast on a Sunday night, and they're going to be all to the east of 
of us on Monday. But boy, are we going to warm things up? You'll see this in our 10 day forecast here in a little bit. Uh, temperatures are approaching 90 on Sunday and staying in the 90s. Most if not all of next week will cool off just a little bit toward next weekend. Uh, dew points, another measure of how uncomfortable it can get. Anytime it's above 60, it's uncomfortable. And when it's up around 70 plus, that is very humid and very uncomfortable. So when you combine those two, we have heat index values coming up next week that will exceed 95 to maybe even 105. That is in the heat uh, advisory and excessive heat warning categories. So prepare for that later on next week. Uh, tomorrow we've got lots of sunshine. No haze in the air. Mid 70s north of Muskegon and south of Muskegon right around 80 there in the Port City. Upper 70s to low 80s from around US 10 down through Greenville and here in the Greater Grand Rapids area. Much more comfortable day. Highs around 80 to 82. 13 on your side forecast. Next week hazy, hot, humid. And uh, we'll see light winds, so air quality may be an issue. We have that shower uh, Sunday evening and again, possibly next Friday into next Saturday. But those are the only chances of thunderstorms at this point.